put on here i did my makeup today to film this and then my mom brought her friend over and then they sang for the entire afternoon and like till night time and my ears were almost to the edge of dying so today i'm going to be talking about a highly requested video topic how to start and manage a dance account okay so i personally own an instagram dance account so now i think i have let me check 128k followers on instagram and i started last year around march i did not have a mirror i did not have a studio i did not have like a huge space and i wasn't good at dancing i was not very confident at dancing well i'm still not very good nor confident now but you get my point so this is what i'm telling you as long as you have the guts to do it and as long as you have the will to continue if i can do it you can do it honestly i even wore a mask when i first started because i was so insecure i would only film when my entire family is like out of the house or like in the room that is when i will like slowly tiptoe and go out and like the film with the mask on and very scared but i'm glad i went past that and i'm glad of who i am today and yeah yeah look at me being inspirational and wearing this shirt out so i'm going to share you guys some tips and tricks on how to get noticed how to get followers fast how to start and manage a dance account what time to post and all that stuff so please continue watching and let's go <sighs> number one pick what you want to be known for this is very important for a dance account because other people will see you as who you are your name will become a part of you it's your identity as some of you guys know my english name is vanessa and my Chinese name is San. I feel like San fits me more. It goes into my personality more than Vanessa because Vanessa is very common and I want my name to be more unique online. The second one, why I came up with dance.san is because I do dance, so I wanted to be known as a person who dances. Another little tip is that you should not copy others. Like if you see someone else have this name, you, I don't recommend you coming up with a similar name because you want to get known as your individual because um people will just call you like a second version of this other coverist and that won't make you feel good and it won't benefit you in the long run um second i get a lot of questions on these copyright don't be worried at all at Instagram deleting your video. You will not get deleted. Simply just click the notification and click appeal and write your electronic signature and your video will get reposted very quickly. So don't have to worry about it. Number three, the timing. So finding the peak time to post your cover is crucial for your account growth. I've noticed myself that posting at different times actually makes a huge, huge difference. One thing that you want to do is find your own best time because everyone has their different peak times to post. So interact with your followers, ask them when they're the most active. Like doing this won't only make your followers to see when you're active at posting, it will also attract new followers who are active during that time zone. So you will have that little group of people that will always be there when you post. Number four, manage your time. This kind of links back to number three because posting at a certain time can also make you have better time management. I procrastinate 24-7. Why am I talking about this? So normally you can see that I post at around 9.45pm to 11pm because that is my peak time. I would post YouTube covers and Instagram covers during that time because I know most of my audience are- <laughs> What am I doing? When I talk, it looks like I'm dancing. Stop. Anyways, repeating, I usually post at around 9.45 to 11 p.m. By doing this, your followers will get classical condition, which means they will expect you to post a cover at that time. And even if you don't, they will go on your account and see if you have posted because they are used to you having some content out on that day. Some of them will actually do that. Do you? P please tell me you do. I will love you. I will love you. And also, it will be much easier for you to manage your studies and like social relationships and like dancing and like mm, editing and all those things if you have a set time and a schedule. Which I can't really keep up with it because I procrastinate a lot. Number five? Number five, 
collabs. Collabing with other K-coverists will bring you directly to their audience as well as your audience seeing them. So obviously, you will have a connection and the followers will notice you and follow you, thus making your account grow more. What am I doing to my hands? Before you ask for collabs, you should make sure that the person does collabs. You should like look at their account. If they said no collabs, there's no point in asking them. And if they don't really do collabs on their account, as you can see, don't go asking because there's like 95% chance that they don't do collabs. That was made up. You can always go try. But personally, I don't do collabs because I only do collabs with my friends. I feel like it is something that I can connect with them when I'm in Hong Kong, they're in LA or like anywhere else across the world. And I just want to see myself dancing next to them. That is why I want to do collabs. And I have had a lot of really bad experiences with collabs when I first started this account. Therefore, left me scarred. <sighs> but that will be in another video, probably a story time where I expose people expose myself no 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 parental advisory explicit content Shh. let's continue yeah. number six always learn the mirrored version of dances many people have asked me this and it's very important that you learn the mirrored version since it's the actual dance like don't think of just mirroring the video it'll be fine no why do people even ask number six Use more power in your dances. If you're a soloist and you dance, you definitely have to use more power when you dance alone because it's a huge space with only you here. Like imagine me talking like this and me talking like this. This will get the conversation going more, which I made this up as well. This is why you should not trust me. Number seven. Seven, this is seven. This is seven, guys. This is something that I love to do. Create memorable events with your audience. Honestly, I adore my followers. I would not say that I love my followers because that is kind of shallow, although I always say I love you guys. But... <laughs> <laughs> am I gonna get attacked now? Should I like prepare something? I have my weapon. Okay, what am I doing? So when I first started my dance account, I wore a mask and I was like, guys, if I reach a thousand followers, I will take off my mask. And that was a day where it was very memorable for all of us because we all remember looking at my face, like this face. Of course you want to look at it because you'll feel better about yourself because I look like this. Yeah. Um, I would celebrate when I reach a thousand followers, when I reach 5,000, when I reach 10K, when I reach 20K, when I reach 50K, when I reach 100K, which is unbelievable. And I would always like to do something special for you guys like what you guys want to see, I'll do it because that is what you should do. That is what you should do because you should always give back to your audience because they're giving you so much love. This is what I believe in. Yeah. Although I don't really know how to show my affection because I'm 24 seven salty and bitter and sarcastic. That pretty much sums me up. Yeah. So I would always do like a special, special dance in public, special, special Q and A, special, special. Some people might not care about it, but it's okay, it's special! Okay, is this the last one? I might have missed a lot of things, but you know what? I might make a part two. <laughs> um, this is the last one. Don't dwell too much on the hate. Honestly, I have personally gotten a lot of hate. You cannot imagine the hate that I've gotten. Like, it affected me so much mentally and psychologically. Like, I had to go see a doctor about it. Um, I won't tell you to ignore the hate or block out the hate because personally, I still can't do it. I still get offended by a lot of the statements that I get. But sometimes that you should just consider the fact that maybe you're the highlight of their day. Maybe they're going through something that's really bad and really painful and looking at you, hating on you, is just the highlight of their day. You're their world. Maybe you are the key factor of their life that they want to pick on and hate on and it makes them feel so much better. Honestly, some of them are trolls. Some of them actually hate on you because they're just jealous. Some people just like to hate because they're negative. And if you can't stand the hate, I really, really suggest you to find friends to talk about it. Find your family members. Find the people who care for you. If not, just cry. 
cry like feel free to let it out it will definitely it will definitely feel better and if you don't have any of those which you can always just screenshot them and make a react to hate comments video which will come up very soon because i will be reacting to my hate comments i'm sorry i'm so annoying just kidding Okay, so that is all. If you guys have any questions, you can comment them down below. And I have been wanting to improve my speaking. So I will be filming a lot of these talking videos. And feel free to tell me whatever video you want me to do. Hope you guys like this video. Goodbye.